seen a lot of Discord around this game, Concord. Now, I'll never play Concord because it's on the PS5. I don't own a PS5. I'm not rich. I own an Xbox Series X, and I play most of my games on there. Um, I have my PC that I'm in front of now. I can't really play games on PC. I'm not a keyboard and mouse dude, and I don't like sitting in this chair for too long. I can't sit up like this to play a game. I have to be relaxed. So I prefer playing on my Xbox. I don't understand why this game is failing. I've watched people play it. I watched the whole beta. I watched people play it. Now, you can never get a full feeling of a game by watching other people play a game. I understand that. But when I was watching it, it just looked like another any other game. It just looked like another game. People are moaning about the character design. I, I don't care about character design in games, to be quite honest with you. Character design, to me, is the last thing I care about. If, especially when it's a first person shooter for god's sake but i never understand why people buy skins for first person shooters why you can't see it what's the point <laughs> i'm playing uh, assassin's creed valhalla at the moment um again a game that got slated but i love it absolutely love it i think it's a brilliant game but the reason that i think this game is failing is because i just think it's another one of those games that has been they keep they spout this 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 term and I'm going through Twitter and I keep it's this it's for a modern audience. A modern audience. Another game released this week, uh, Dust what was it? Dustborn. Again, a game made for the made for the modern audience. It's how long is it gonna take these I mean, I've heard that some games are catching up with themselves. Uh, some co companies are catching up with themselves, but you, how, lo how long is it going to take? It? This modern audience does not exist. It does not exist. Let's say, for instance, Concord, this um, Dustborn. What was that awful? What Forsaken was it called? Um, there's a lot of games that are released on the basis that they think that there's this crowd of people out there that are going to invest into the into this get into the game but that crowd doesn't actually exist they're either going off twitter or maybe reddit or they're going off social media maybe facebook and they're going off this crowd of people and these people don't play games they literally don't play games they're just moaning that they want some it but then when it comes they don't buy it the only people you can blame for these games failing, i.e. Concord, Dustborn, the only people, Forsaken and whatever else crap has been released over the last couple of years that have failed, Suicide Squad and such, you can only blame, you can't blame people who game. Because the people who game know what they like. Elden Ring, um what was that one that's just come out? Wukong. Um, Black Myth. Wukong. Look at the sales number. Hell, Helldivers. Look at the sales numbers. Look at the amount of people that pick them up. You can see what they want, but yet you're tending to cater for these people that don't exist. They're never going to appear because they don't play games. People who play games know what they want. People that play games i.e. for me for instance i like certain types of games and i will play them certain type of games to death there's other games that i don't like like let's say for instance elden ring i know elden ring is a fantastic game i know it's an absolutely beautiful game i know it's a wonderful game but i'll never play it because it's not my kind of game what I prefer to do is I will watch a streamer and I'll watch them play it from start to finish. I will enjoy the game with them, but I can't play them type of games. I don't have the patience. I don't have the, I literally don't have the, the brain capacity because I'm a bit, what's the word for it? My attention span isn't very long in that kind of sense. I like 
I, like, I do like adventure games, but I, I, I just said I'm pay, playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I like wandering around doing nothing, basically just looking at stuff. That's my type of game. I love walking simulators. I absolutely love walking simulators. First-person shooters, I enjoy to play them, start, like Call of Duty, for instance. I like to play the campaign. I never go near online. I have no interest in online whatsoever. But I'll play the campaign, except for the last... I played Vanguard campaign. That was dire. The campaigns on Call of Duty have got really bad. I don't even know why I mentioned them because the campaign. I'm hoping Black Ops Six has got a decent campaign, but they're just movies to me. I played recently. Um, what was it called? Hell, hell. It was an Xbox game with a woman. I can't remember the name of it. I really can't. Um, hell something. Hell's Blade. Um, but I played the first one and it was absolutely a brilliant game. But then the second one they released, again, I don't know who it was made for, but it was just a movie. And it was literally just a walking simulator. And I enjoyed it. Absolutely enjoyed it. But nothing was happening. It was a very linear game with absolutely nothing happening in it. But it was really nice to look at. And I love walking simulators. But when it comes to games like, as I say, Concord and your games that are made for modern audiences, people won't pick them up because you, you, you're advertising to the wrong people and you're just giving off the totally the wrong signals when you want the people that actually play games to it. When you're telling gamers this game isn't for you, it's for a modern audience. The gaming community, community whether you like them or not, whether they get along or not, They'll all go, okay, well, if that game's not for us, that's fair enough. We won't buy it. You sell it to who you sell it to then. The people that you're aiming it at. And you know what? Because then people don't exist. You get no sales. And I'm going through Twitter and I'm just seeing tweets like this, for instance. I hate seeing the discourse around Concord right now. I totally get if it's not your thing, but there was a team of people that put their heart and soul into this game. Be respectful and don't cheer it or any game's downfall. Nobody's cheering for its downfall. I don't understand that. It's things like that. Nobody's cheering for its downfall. They made it and told everybody it wasn't for you. It's for a modern audience. But as I've said a hundred times in this video, a modern audience does not gain it exist. You're selling it to no one. They don't play games. These people that keep moaning do not play games. And it doesn't help that half your studios are filled up with people that don't play games either. They might be great at graphic design. They might be great at messing around with codes. But do they actually play games? And that's sometimes you got you sometimes got to wonder. I, it just looked like what's that game that my lad used to play? Is it Overwatch or is it Paladin? Might be Paladins or Overwatch. One of the that's what it looked like to me. Just one of those team shooter things. It doesn't look like nothing new anyway. And the fact that they're charging forty quid for it. You may as well just bang it on free to play. What the PlayStation should have done is released it on Xbox as well as one of the games that's crossing over. Like Xbox are doing with PlayStation. They maybe should have done that and seen what happened. But they need to get away from this. We're making it for modern audiences because it's modern audience does not exist. And that's a fact. And you need to stop selling games that way because it just doesn't work. And I think we've got enough proof to say that that's a fact now start selling to gamers gamers will buy if, you, if you're selling it and it looks good and it plays right gamers will buy it believe it tell it to them tell it to the gamers anyway that's my video for today and i will uh, see you in the next one